everyone out there in library land. Today I'll be showing you the cool tool known as Shorthand Social. Shorthand Social is a website builder similar to Weebly or WordPress. This online editor it takes your text, image, and video and it creates an amazing web page with no coding experience required. This is similar to other website building platforms but with an added level of simplicity. In Shorthand Social you're not creating a comprehensive website, you're you're creating a scrolling one-page story. There are pros and cons to this uncomplicated design and I'll try to show you those and discuss those throughout the demo. First you can visit their website. It's social.shorthand.com or the website listed up here. One pro or con depending on your viewpoint is that your login is linked with your Twitter. I created a professional Twitter for my profile. You can use your library, your firm, your court, your school Twitter if you'd like to be more linked to your social media. Um, as you can see here, this is my platform. Um, my stories are listed here, sort of on my dashboard. I have already created a story. Um, I found Social Shorthand when my university's main campus created a story and emailed out the link to other librarians. I thought the design looked really simple and clean, so I decided to utilize this tool for an assignment for a master's degree that I'm earning through the University of Florida in instructional design. I was tasked with creating a case study for distance learning programs and then um, asked to share my study with other students in the course. So I picked this tool to showcase my study because it was very simple. Uh, I'll just click into my study. So this is the web page that I created. If I wanted to I could edit here but I've also published it and I can view live. The nice thing is I just took a YouTube video and was able to add this at the background creating a, a very visually pleasing look. If you scroll down you can see the text of my case study where I was able to add pictures, um, lots of different text, and a scrolling picture as well to, to just add a little bit. It's very very easy to use. I went back to my editor you can just click plus for this to add a section. You can add text. And once you add text, you can organize it into different headers, into quotes, back to normal text, bold, italicize, and link. It's very easy. There's not much formatting um, as far as font and design, uh, but that's part of the the beauty is the simplicity. You can delete sections easily, you can add sections with text over media. Over here in the corner you can decide to add a YouTube link if you'd like it um, to have a, a video similar to the running video in the title. You can add text. You can add backgrounds a scrolling background and it's just very easy to put up something quickly, publish it, and have a link to be able to to pass out um, to promote your program or your collection. Um, the interface is very easy to to navigate as you can see. There's also a nice guide here as well made out of a uh, shorthand social page telling you how to get started, um, how to add sections, what type of um, different sections you can add and how to do different quoting and um, etc. So that's a nice example. Um, I think that this project would be fantastic for outreach librarians, really anyone um, trying to market something short, um, maybe special to their library. It could be used if you're putting on a program or if you have special collections. The greatest thing about Shorthand Social is it's fast and simple and um, probably the best thing is it's free. You can just create an account with your Twitter, you can have some text and video, type it up really quickly, um, you know, throw it up on the internet, publish it, unpublish it, pass out the URL as needed, and then delete it whenever it's convenient. There is a uh, pro version of this as well. However, there is a subscription cost involved. All right, thank you so much.